was produced uh, in partnership with uh, Mr. Mark Brody and MIB Productions. Mark Brody was a professional that worked for over 16 years for 60 minutes. And Mr. Brody went to interview our priest, Father Elias, in Rye, New York. And everyone was upset because the, the week that he showed up was the week that the scaffolding went up for the fourth phase of our five-year iconography, ideographia project. But Mark, with his eye, immediately asked our priest, and, and Mark is not of our tradition, he's not orthodox, why is the scaffolding up? Why are these men working? What are they doing? And Father Elias, being the burning bush that he is, immediately start talking about the centrality of iographia in the orthodox faith. One of the greatest ministries of the church throughout history, we're talking centuries of history, is iconography. This church has basically lived to that tradition by placing images on the wall. And so after Mark made uh, the short biopic on me for professional reasons, he called me in June of 2014 and said, Mike, this story needs to be told. And so we embarked on, believe it or not, what was a one-year labor of love. I had no idea when I was asked to be to underwrite the film and be its executive producer the amount of work that goes into um, producing a 17-minute film short. The film was debuted on June 21st for 400 people and specifically for His Eminence Archbishop Demetrius of America. And the film is not about a church in Rye, New York, but rather it's about the centrality of the mission, of the ministry, of iconography, iographia in the Orthodox faith. It is about the journey of one community taking the white walls of their church and making the church into a proper Orthodox church and how it has completely transformed, totally transformed the spirituality of our community through iconography. The film is subtitled in Greek, and we're going to subtitle it also in uh, next in Arabic, for very obvious reasons, because where should this be seen today? It should mm -hmm. be seen where people are suffering, where people are being persecuted, where people are being crucified. And then we'll probably translate it, uh, subtitle it into Russian. What we ask anyone watching this video to please go to theartofbelief.org and then send the link to every Orthodox Christian, Greek or otherwise, that you know.